Introduction to Soil Science At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define Soil Science Explain the scope of Soil Science Describe the branches of Soil Science Hey friend, do you know carbon is responsible for climate change? But friend, carbon is not our enemy, it is the building block of life. Anything alive is made of carbon. The problem and solution is simply associated with the matter of balance. When humans figured out how to extract carbon and burn it for energy, they have disrupted the balance. Humans endanger the environment by favoring the transfer of carbon into the atmosphere. Approximately 8,80,000 million tons of carbon dioxide is moved into the atmosphere through several means which is heating up the planet causing global warming. Now the question is who can store this excess carbon and save the world? The solution to this problem is us, the soil. Plants with the help of sunlight and water undergo photosynthesis that is they pull in carbon dioxide from air and convert it into carbohydrates. When the plants die and return to the soil, they get decomposed and recycled, thus transferring the organic carbon to the soil. Do you know organic carbon in soil is the basis for soil fertility? By covering the soil with composite products such as manure or cow dung, the carbon content of soil increases. This soil, when combined with other regenerative practices such as planting trees and cover crops can rebuild soil and sequester carbon. This technique is known as regenerative farming. More carbon in the ground makes us healthy and nutrient rich. Look, the microorganisms are happy and help us in retaining water. When we are happy, we can help in producing more resilient crops and nutritious food. This is one of the scopes of soil science. Let us now learn about the history of soil science. Although soil has been in use since ancient times, soil science as a discipline is surprisingly young and still in the developing process. Soil science has begun less than two centuries ago and is closely linked to geography, geology and botanical sciences. Soon, Soil science began to focus on the role of soil as a medium for food production, thereby acting as one of the pillars of agricultural science. The Second World War has affected Europe and many other parts of the world by causing food scarcity. This has evoked the prerequisite for development of soil science in the last century. So, soil science has been integrated with the science of agronomy and soil cultivation to stabilize the effect. However, this effort failed to provide food for all people. Instead, it has turned out to cause negative effect on agriculture in many underdeveloped countries. Let us analyze some of the views of soil scientists upon soil. Ernest Helgard in the year 1892 has stated that soil is more or less a loose and friable material in which plants by means of their roots find a foothold for nourishment as well as for other conditions of growth. While Vasily Dokuchev, a Russian scientist in the year 1900, has quoted that soil is a natural body composed of mineral and organic constituents having a definite genesis and a distinct nature of its own. Vasily is also known as the father of soil science. So. What is soil science? Soil science is the science dealing with soils as a natural resource on the surface of the earth including soil formation, classification and mapping and physical, chemical, biological and fertility properties of soils. It also deals with those properties in relation to the use and management of soils. Soil science plays an important role in the life of human beings. It not only serves as a resource for food production, but also helps us in disposing waste, distributing and storing water and nutrients, as well as supporting our environment. Based on the properties 
Soil science is classified into several branches such as soil fertility, soil chemistry, soil microbiology, soil physics, soil mineralogy, soil conservation or soil technology, soil genesis and classification or pedology and soil survey. Soil fertility it is the ability of soil to support plant life. Fertile soil contains sufficient minerals and nutrients needed for proper plant growth and it constitutes the major portion of topsoil. Soil chemistry Soil chemistry is the study of the chemical characteristics of soil. It is affected by mineral composition, organic matter and environmental factors. Soil physics Soil physics is the study of soil physical properties and processes. It deals with the dynamics of physical soil components and their phases as solid, liquid and gases. Soil microbiology Soil microbiology deals with the study of microorganisms in soil and their effect on soil properties. It also covers the functions of soil microorganism. Soil conservation it deals with the protection of soil against physical loss by erosion or against chemical deterioration that is excessive loss of nutrients either naturally or artificially. Soil mineralogy. It deals with the minerals present in the soil and their relation to fertility of the soil. Different types of soil hold and retain varying amounts of nutrients. Soil genesis and classification. It deals with the weathering of rocks and minerals, factors and processes of soil formation and classification of soils in a recognized classification system. Soil Survey It is the study of soil of an area including classification and mapping of the properties and the distribution of various soil units. Soil Survey is important for any country as it helps in identifying soil resources. Soil processes can be compared to various systems of human body, that is, digestive system can be compared to soil decomposing ability. Respiratory system can be compared to air circulation and exchange of gases by soil. Circulatory system can be compared to the water movement within the soil system. Excretory system can be compared to the ability of soil in leaching out the excess salts. The mineral clay present in soil acts as the brain, while soil color and depth are compared to human skin tone and height. Let us look at the percentage of soil components. Mineral matter accounts to 45% and organic matter amounts to 5% while soil water and soil air contributes 25% each. Summary. Let us do a recap of what we have learnt in this lesson. Soil science is the science dealing with soils as a natural resource on the surface of the earth. Soil physics deals with the dynamics of physical soil components and their phases. Soil organic carbon is the basis for soil fertility.